Hello, what a treat. Now, for uh, what will be one of the few final times, let's talk about a Doctor Who episode, a classic Who episode that I have never seen before. Uh, this is a, a big time. It's a big time. So we were just discussing uh, before we watched the episode about we're, we're alive now, aren't we? What do you mean? When this was on, we were alive. Oh, yeah. And also, um, John, uh, as what's happened, John and Paul earlier, and uh, we were talking about the King's Demons, and we were saying how when we watched the King's Demons for the first time, it, it, it had been on television sort of 10 years before. So time is weirdly compressing, um, and that feels most strange because we're getting closer and closer and closer to, to my era of Doctor Who. But, of course, we've got to contend with... All sorts of stuff going on in this story. So, let's do our sort of, what's the character development of the Doctor here? He's messed up about Daleks. Um, and he's messed up about Tegan. And repressing his emotions as well. Well, that's very generous of you. You don't think so? No, I just think he hasn't noticed how shit everything is, how boring he is how stressful he makes everything. And then also, this, you know, how is he so oblivious to Turlo as a total arsehole? Yeah, so I quite like the re-emergence of Tur Turlo's ultra-secretive uh, bit. But he's inept at it, more so than he ever has been. Um, and But don't you find that intriguing? I suppose that still doesn't justify the fact that the Doctor is being pretty rubbish at, at picking apart Turlo's behaviour. So, yeah, that's, that's totally Make legit. Sure you turn that so you don't get any Do chill out, chill out, chill out. Um, OK, uh, we're in Lanzarote, obviously. One slight complaint I've got, and they are trying to mitigate against it, is we've obviously got scenes shot in Lanzarote, which is supposed to be in Lanzarote, and then scenes shot in Lanzarote, which is supposed to be an alien planet. And at least at the start of the episode, and I know, but at the start of the episode, there was a, there was a slight air of, I'm not entirely sure that these are two separate places, but they clearly are, and I think that's fairly well established by the end. I quite like the Doctor Pratton about, you know... Are they separate places or separate times? Uh, places, but we're in the same place, just different times. No, no, we're in different part of the galaxy. Oh. I think. Um, but the, we're in Lanzarote. We've been in Lanzarote, but now the Doctor and the TARDIS and everybody have gone to this other planet. In a in oh, the. I just thought that was in a different time. No. Okay, I was confused. You see, this is what I'm saying. I think there's a slight L issue there, but you know that that's okay. I think they've tried to mitigate against it. it hasn't quite worked, but that's okay. Um. <laughs> Turlo saving this new girl, uh, we'll talk about her in a minute, uh, was quite amusing. Um, and uh, the the vague sort of slightly dodgy air of this Howard chap, uh, which is obviously compounded by the end of it, felt a bit weird. Um, okay, Chameleon's back. Uh, um, and I wouldn't mind, but surely he got destroyed when the TARDIS was wrecked on Frontios. How could any... You know what I mean? Surely he got just blitzed all over front of us. But anyway, we've not talked about him for a while, with good reason, so let's ignore him. Um, uh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, yeah, this new girl, uh, she's called Perry. Well, considering... I mean... Oh, Lib, talk... T t what, do you, what, what are we going to say about Perry? Uh, she's... Annoying. She's annoying. She's spoiled. She's spoiled. She's whiny. She's whiny. The thing is, Tegan got bad stick for being a moaner, but she's wet. I can't stand Perry's voice already. At least... At least she's got a hot bar. Well, this is what I'm Don't saying. We all know it fucks her. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. At least uh, Tegan never had to get, you know, a bap's pretty far out in order to, to make an impression. And that's obviously not Nicola Bryan's fault. But... Um, it's a bit, I mean... Well, with, can we just make some recognition of the fact that she has got a hot bot? Okay. Okay, credit with credit. Well, need to see it in Doctor Who. So yeah, exactly. I'm, I don't want... I'm I, not dissing Perry in any way. No, no, no. no. But I don't... Yes. I don't want that in my Doctor Who, particularly. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I don't. That's not... That's not the tone of Doctor Who. But, I mean, it is a bit brazen, isn't it? 
And justify within the context of the plot, fine. And maybe I'm just a prude. No, it wasn't justified in the context of the plot. Well, it was. She was swimming. I mean... She could have had a full coverage wetsuit. Like. To be fair, it would make more sense in terms of not getting sunburn. There you go. Anyway. Um, and then we get the master at the end. Okay. So, fine. Already I'm a little tired of Ainley, which is, which is a real shame to say, uh, because it is the master. I mean, he was great in The Five Doctors. Uh, is that the last time we saw him? Is that the last time we saw him? Yes, I think he probably was. No, King Steve. No, it was the Five Doctors. You see, there's a lot of Ainley, and it, it, it doesn't quite... But anyway, there we go. But look, here's the thing. That was the old Doctor Who I've never seen. How magnificent is that? Let's not sully this moment by whinging about it. What a joyous thing this is. Uh, and I can't wait to watch episode you two. You haven't mentioned how camp everybody is. Well, you do that then. Incredibly camp, all the men, and they're all wearing very short shorts and makeup. And I don't know it's very they're... warm, yes, but they are all being weirdly camp with each other, I think. But also, the other thing is, uh, the item that everyone's looking for appears to be a massive dildo. <laughs> okay, just saying, my wife does not take any nonsense. And where do you go to, my lovely? When you're it's Peter Bloody Wingard, isn't it? Is it the same Peter? I'm sure it is, it must be. Let's learn that on the guitar. I, I need to get some new strings. We'll learn it on the ukulele or the banjo. Let's learn it on the banjo. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.